2015 has proved to be one of probably the most difficult years we've had in agriculture in a long, long time. Certainly all our sectors are coming under immense pressure at the moment. It's been highlighted primarily by the dairy concerns and the crisis in the dairy industry, but that can't detract from the pressure that all our sectors are under. Our arable sector, red meat, beef and lamb, our pig sector and our vegetable sector all come under immense challenges at the moment. So it's been a concern for both us as a union because we have a responsibility for our farms, for our families and we certainly acknowledge and understand the pressures that many, many businesses are under just at the moment. Difficulties in agriculture for us this year are slightly different to other times in that many of the things that we're trying to work with, work against and uh, be proactive in combating are things that are outside our control. So the big things that are coming to play at the minute in our industry are exchange rates and global markets and very often these are things that we can't influence. However, that doesn't detract or take away from our effort to lobby hard and try and encourage both our, our Agriculture Minister, Westminster and the Commission about the importance of, of addressing lack of profitability at farm level. Concerns this year have been highlighted to the wider general public by virtue of the protests that have been taking place. And we as a union understand more than anyone why these protests are happening. We understand the frustration by the industry, the fear by people who are involved in protests about where their businesses are going and the lack of cash in their businesses. That being said, the protests have certainly achieved what they set out to achieve. They have raised awareness and raised the profile of these concerns. And it's now our responsibility as a union to move on. We have continued to lobby and negotiate and debate and discuss all these issues at all different levels of government. And certainly we will continue that work and we have a number of measures, a number of initiatives that we're currently working on in the near future that, that will certainly reinforce this effort. We all recognise very much at the moment that these concerns are concerns shared by all the agricultural industry. Farmers are concerned, processors and anyone in, in the service industry are dealing with the farm industry, certainly have major concerns. That being said, we have been very busy, we've been very proactive in how we engage with, with the industry players. We have met with Agriculture Minister O'Neill, we have met on a number of occasions with Secretary of State for DEFRA, Liz Truss. We have also met with our local MLAs, we have met with our local industry players, and we have also met with some of the protesters, some of the people who are on the streets outside the supermarkets, deeply concerned about their future. Due to concerns raised by the dairy sector in the last number of months, it was planned to have a dairy summit to bring together the industry to, to discuss some of the issues and plan a proactive strategy to getting through a difficult period. That being said, we're now in a position where many, many sectors need to have similar discussions. Many sectors need to discuss how they address cash flow issues going forward. We plan uh, the Dairy Summit for Thursday and on the back of that, when the Commission reconvenes in September, we will have a meeting with Commissioner Hogan in conjunction with the Industry and our Agriculture Minister. And we'll also be present on the 7th of September in Brussels for a protest by European farmers about lack of profit on farm businesses. That will be in conjunction with many, many meetings around the peripheries of these protests. And certainly we will keep applying pressure both at local, at national and at commission level.